guys, welcome. Today we're gonna do another flat shaker card. This this one, no stamping, no inking involved. We're using Doodlebug paper. This is a little six by six paper pad. It's from the under, under the sea line. And I mean, look at this, you guys. How stinking cute, right? Little girl's dreams are of magical things. <gasps> So what I chose was fishy paper. Look it. <laughs> and the back is bubbles. I had a hard time deciding between fishes and bubbles. And then I used um, green doodlebug cardstock, a little bit of white cardstock, and then another pattern out of the pad. And then this little girl is actually on one of the... Um, pages with little cutout squares. Let's see if I can find it quickly here. She's right here. And what I did was I used the smallest die from the Spellbinder set and just cut her out. So I used four dies from this set to cut out the pieces for this. And this is gonna be super simple. Um, this will be the shaker, and then we'll center her on top and I'll do a little sentiment underneath. And I already picked out my sequins. There are some stars and some hearts and some little seashells in this mixture. Look. And even some little star crystals that were in the, um, in the mix of the sequins. I just went ahead and used some of those too because they were cute. So first things first, let's get our plastic cut for our sugar. As I'm recording this today, it's Tuesday in sunny central Florida. Um, we've had temperatures down into the 60s at night. So, um, Right now, we have our air off and our windows open. Oh, let that break. So, that's always the nice um, nice little break. Usually October, November, as long as it's not super rainy, I have everything open. Because um, even, like, even if it is, if it's super rainy, even if it's not blowing in and stuff, I, I tend to keep the air on because if I don't, um, the humidity just, man, wrecks everything. So, um, yeah, paper crafting and humidity don't really mix all that well. Because I actually, I really like to be able to be out on my back patio to do stuff. But I did find out rather quickly that um, that wasn't a good idea for paper crafting. And I can go out there with paint. You know, if I want to work on a painting, I can take it outside. But your paper tends to get weird out there in the humidity and makes adhesives sometimes act a little weird too. So I don't do that. Because let me tell you, if I could live my life out on my back patio and my pool, end in my pool, I would. I love it out there. It's part of why I wanted to live here. All right. We've got our tape on. Excuse me, reach. Now we need to cut some plastic. We had the grandbaby over the weekend. And usually I have them Friday to Tuesday, but um, we're leading a, a church group on Monday nights right now. And I need time to clean. <laughs> so while that group's going on, I take him home on Monday. Shortens our visit a little bit, but he was really good. We had a good time. He'll be three in a couple weeks. Man, he's just, he's turned into a little human. He's not, he's not really a baby anymore. He, um, you know, he knows things. He's learned, he knows most of his colors. He knows most of his letters and he can count to 10. And now my daughter and son-in-law are working on um, teaching them everyone's names. So like his name and their names and my name and, and Pappy's name. 
And it's funny because he's having a hard time with my name. So when we go through the, what's Pappy's name? What's my name? He always wants to call me Harry. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> that is not me, friend, but it's cute. And when you ask him his name, it's so cute. He touches his chest. He goes, I Charlie. Oh my gosh. The cutest stinking thing ever. All right. So I took off three sides of my tape. And I'm going to get this plastic on, which I didn't really trim it down, so I'm just trimming it down as I go. Which is not, you know, probably the way you're supposed to do it, but that's how I'm doing it, because that's how I roll. Have my little sequin mix, like I said, I pre-picked them. We'll see if this is enough. If I feel like it needs more, then I'll get them back out, but. Last the last one I did, I really really filled it, and man, it was. I do think that needs more. I'm actually doing all these shakers has uh, made me start going through my sequence dash, man. I'm gonna have to replenish them probably after the holidays are over. Oh, speaking of holidays, I had pre-ordered the mini cinch from We Are Memory Keepers. I used to have the full-size cinch machine, and it was one of those things I liked having it, but I didn't use it enough to warrant the space it took up in my, my space, <laughs> the space in my space. So I sold it off when we moved, because I did a huge purge when we moved from Ohio to Florida. And then they came out with the mini one, and I was like, yeah, I, that way I can still you know, I can still make some little books when I want to, but it won't take up all that room. And, uh, so I pre-ordered it, but it was like back ordered forever and ever. And I completely forgot about it. And the lady I ordered that stuff from, um, has, you know, has other stuff and that I've been waiting on because back orders have been a big, big problem this year. And, uh, she was like, Oh, she sent me the invoice because everything was in. And then she sent me an email and said, don't pay that one because I forgot about the mini cinch. It's here. I was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about the mini cinch. So, yay. Make some little books with that puppy. I'm excited. Which I think I've reached the point where I need to do a little um, rearranging. And I think I'm going to do the papers on the front of my dream box totes thing. I wasn't going to. I like seeing them. I like seeing in them. But man, everybody's posting these pictures and it looks really nice with the fronts covered. So they're killing me. I think I'm going to have to do it. I was like, you guys are killing me, man. Do, um... Probably like shades of pink. So that'll be a project for after. The holidays are over. I know I do have a tendency to over sequin. I know. I'm very aware. So I'm probably not a good judge of how much is too much, right? That's probably good, isn't it? Shake it, shake it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pull that last strip of tape. And Sam says, groan. Groan. Groany Sam. Okay. Trim. Trim those corners. Give her a shake. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna put the lid back, put this back together before I spill it because um, I will <laughs> get the tidy tray out of the way and then we will put this on a backer, which I should have done with the last one, it would have made it easier to handle, but I didn't because order some whiter tape, but I think instead of 
ordering some score tape from Simon or anybody, I'm going to order some Viva Las Vegas stamps. There are a couple of stamps on their side I want, so I will just order from them. Okay, pull these ones off the center that I have. And they have the Miracle Tape and Sheets, too, and I love it. It's good stuff. Just give it a little stability. Like I said, I should have done that with the other one. I think it would have been easier to deal with it. But I did not. Oh, look at that. Oh, my fish are fit out. Oh, yep. Okay, so I'm not putting anything else behind it. I'm just gonna center it on this white card. And then I have a piece of fishy paper to put inside, because you know how I roll, no naked insides. And I think we're gonna foam tape it. <laughs> okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna layer these together. I'm gonna put that right in the center. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. These uh, Spellbinder dies, I'll tell you, I get a lot of mileage out of this set. And I like that each of the circle, like their, um, their little edges are a little different. So that makes them super cute. And then we'll put a little cutie mermaid there. Oh, totes adorbs, right? I think I just want to put her right in the center. I thought about using one of these little bows, but I don't think it's the right pink. Oh, but I do have a bow die. Maybe we can use that. We're gonna use the Stamps of Life Stephanie Bernard little bow die. And I cut it out of white glitter. Where'd my piece go? It's still on the mat. Yes, it was still on the mat. <laughs> it popped right out and didn't even know. Okay. White glitter. Yeah, I need something to poke that out. There. There we go. Oh, come out. Come out. Thank you, darling. And I think she has this in a couple sizes. I just have the teeny tiny one. It's so cute. And see, here's my sample. So, I would like to put this together. Okay, I need a little gluey glue. Ooh, have a little swing. Why not? Just cut a little piece off. These are actually very simple to put easy, well, yeah, to put together. But I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a little, little fiddling to figure it out. And then she's got, like I said, she's got these in other size. And the bigger ones have like an embossed line in here that tells you, um, Helps you see where to to fold it to. This little one doesn't, and I don't know if it's maybe it's older and it's before they started doing that on them or what. But oh yeah, look at that. Okay, more a little more sequang. Hope you put it there. Oops, sorry, not a thing again. Oh, neighbor's little guy's barking. All right. Okay. And wrap that around. And look. Seriously. Cutest little bow ever. 
I really should take a day and just sit and make a bunch of these <laughs> different colors of glitter because I always make them out of glitter. And then I would just have them. Make sure that's good and sticky. Now, do I want to put this piece on? Why, well, yes, yes, I do. Come here, Sukwang. together. Make sure it's the right angle. Oh my gosh. Is that not the best? <laughs> All right. So I think I'm just going to use a little, little sick wing put this on. Oh, <gasps> Yes, I know it's really called sport tape, but I prefer to call it slick wing because I, for some reason, think it's funny. Because I am a child. <laughs> I will own up to it. All right, I got this weird little piece that I had to cut. Uh, I had to cut off. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here before I stick the whole thing onto the front. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sometimes it's just one little accent, right? That can make it so much better. Okay. And what do we want our sentiment to be? I could just stamp one off of, um, Simon Hurley's That Mermaid stamp set. I could use one of those. Because I think the sentiment's... Why am I shaking this? This isn't a shaker. The sentiment's going to go on the inside. I don't want anything but her on the front. Because she is cuter than cute. Oh, uh, yeah. Look it. <laughs> Uh, isn't that precious? Oh my. Who am I going to send that to? You know, this would be a really good birthday pre birthday card for like a little girl who's just turning like one or two, you know? All right, I'll put our fishy strip inside. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll die cut a um, happy birthday. On the silhouette. And then just add it. I don't know. I'm going to have to let it marinate. See what it wants to say. Now we're not. Um, probably after this. Not going to be doing any more stuff like this. It's just going to be full on Halloween. Homie, and Christmas cards. Because I have a lot of Christmas cards to make. Oh, that is. Probably too many sequins, but <laughs> I don't care. It makes me happy. Okay. So that was a quick little card. Cuter than cute, right? Well worth the probably 20 minutes it took to make it. And, yeah, I think I'm going to sit and cut out a bunch of bows and maybe listen to Mr. Ball and tell me a story while I cut them out and put them together. I hope you like this little card and... Hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Remember, be excellent to each other and go make something.